new pig invented the build a berm so you can create a barrier anywhere you need one to prevent leaks or spills from escaping into your facility. For this demonstration, we are using the following supplies. build a berm walls, wall ends, corner pieces, sealant, vinyl fabric cement, a straight edge, a utility knife, and cut resistant gloves. Before you start, lay out your berms for at least two hours to allow them to uncoil and flatten. When installing a build a berm, there are six basic steps to follow. One, plan and mark out the area where you need to build containment. This will give you a general idea of your layout and the space you're working in. For longer sections, use a chalk line to keep berm walls straight. Two, in order for your build a berm to adhere properly, prep the floor. The floor should be dry and free from dust, debris, oil, or other liquids. If there are any noticeable cracks or joints in the floor, those need to be filled with the sealant included in your Build-A-Berm kit. Three, measure and cut the Build-A-Berm sections to match your containment area. You can cut the Build-A-Berm using a straight edge and utility knife. Make sure to use the proper PPE, like cut-resistant gloves, when performing this work. After cutting them, lay the sections out to make sure they create a complete barrier around the containment area. Be sure to include the needed corner or wall sections when doing your layout. Start from one end and work your way around the structure to make sure all parts fit together properly. Four, apply two continuous beads of sealant along the bottom side of the berm pieces. Be sure to keep these beads one inch from all edges. It's important to make sure it's a solid continuous bead to keep an effective seal. Sometimes customers like to have build a berms adjoin and butt against the walls. In order to do that, you need a wall end piece. Once the sealant is applied, add the wall end piece. Next, connect the straight section of build a berm. Apply pressure to all sections, working your way from the center of the berm out to the edges. Be sure to work your way around the perimeter of all pieces. Uneven surfaces may need extra sealant on the base of the berm. Repeat these steps until your desired area is contained. Five, once the sealant is applied and the berm sections are secured to the floor, any seams and adjoining pieces must be sealed. To attach these sections, you will need vinyl fabric cement, which can be purchased separately. Apply the vinyl cement to the overlay flap at the end of each adjoining piece. Then mold the overlay flap to the connecting section and hold it in place for approximately 30 seconds. This process is repeated for all seams. Six, before use of any kind, Allow the sealant to dry completely for at least two hours. As a recap, one, plan and mark the layout. Two, clean and prep the floor. Three, measure and cut the build a berm sections to match your plan. Four, attach the berm to the floor. Five, seal the adjoining sections. Six, allow time to dry. If you ever need to remove your build a berm, use a flat blade shovel to separate the build a berm from the floor. You can use a scraper or silicone remover to remove any leftover sealant. We realize not every install is the same, as your needs for containment areas will vary. If you have questions, call our tech department. They're ready to help. From your friends at Newpig, here's to a job well done.